Welcome to Mission Control. What mission centre have you been assigned to? Uh, group 1, Virginia. Is that there? Welcome to Mission Control. What's your short centre of you? Control for Apollo. What we're going to be doing here today, we are from Duke Corporate Education and one of the methodologies that we use in terms of learning is immersive experiences. So this is not a team build. You have been chosen as the group to represent planet Earth and to go with us to the moon today. So we use immersive experiences like Apollo going to, going to the moon to um, look at learning. And in this particular instance, we're looking at the VUCA world. We're looking at volatility. You're going to have lots of that today. Uncertainty. Complexity. Wait until you're out there. And ambiguity. So we're covering VUCA with this particular immersion. And it's going to be all about communication, decision making, problem solving, and leadership. And you are the rising stars. So this is going to be very interesting in terms of how you show up in this particular immersion. So without further ado, I'm not going to go into detail now, but what I'm going to ask you is to walk the journey with us. Because an immersive experience only works if you enter into the role play. If you are outside looking in through the window, you're not going to take much out of it because you're looking at it from a distance. So you're not going to feel the learning, you're not going to, get, you're not going to experience the learning. So our invitation to you is please do this with us, it's only an hour is enter into the role play. If you're an engineer, take on the role of an engineer. Knowing you've got people in outer space, you have to bring back safety. If you're an astronaut, you're out there, knowing you're on a mission critical um, uh, uh, experience to bring back, um, I don't know, what is it, from, 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 moon, from the moon. You're going to bring something back from the moon for, to, save, to save the human race. So we ask you to please step into the role and enjoy the journey with us. So without further ado, I want to introduce the two flight directors. We have Flight Director Boddington, who is in charge of Mission Control Center, to make sure that everything works down in Planet Earth. And we have Flight Director Furry, who is going to be monitoring the capsules next door. Very shortly, we will be embarking on our mission to the moon. And as our commander has indicated, the purpose of our mission is to collect scientific samples from the moon. Uh, for experimentation to save the human race. Space Connects, listen very carefully, we do not have much time to explain the process and we will not have time for questions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by explaining how the communication process will work. The mission will be directed from this room, from Mission Control. Very shortly we will be escorting our astronauts to their space capsules the engineers who are in orange will be remaining in this room with me. We will be directing the conversation with the astronauts in the space capsules through mission event cards. Engineers, these will be handed out to you sequentially at critical parts during the mission. Your astronauts will be following your lead. Initially, they will be required to give you information of the control panel in their space capsules. So they are going to have to find some information. From card four, the astronauts will be responding from the astronaut logbook. Astronauts and engineers, it is absolutely critical that you synchronize this communication. Engineers, you do not want your astronauts moving ahead. You need to be sure at all times that they are with you with the same card. The communication mechanism is through a two-way radio. Flight Director Watson is about to uh, demonstrate that to you, together with Flight Directors for me. Astronauts and engineers, hear me once and hear me well. We do not have time to repeat this instruction. 
there's inclement weather coming in and we need to get this mission underway. I'm going to explain this to you once. While I am explaining the use of the two-way radio system, should any of you choose to fiddle with the radio system, you will receive a severe shock to your hands. Be warned. <laughs> The radio communication system comprises of two radios. One will go into the capsule. Astronauts, please be sure to take one with you. The other one will remain here with the engineers in mission control. There are two dials on the radio. The very first dial, when you're looking at it, the outer dial is your on, off, and volume control button. The middle dial is the dial that selects the channel of communication that you will be using between the astronauts and the engineers. The channel number is this number in the middle on the back of the radio. Should any of you have a number 16 placed in the top corner, ignore that number. This middle number is the channel number of your communication radio. To get to that channel, this dial will move you to that channel number. If you are not on the correct channel number, that is the noise you will hear. And until you get to the correct channel number, that noise will keep repeating itself. Now, how do we know whether or not communication is happening? There's a little push to talk button on the side of the radio. It's a soft rubber button. Ladies and gents, this is not a cell phone. It is a two-way talk radio system, okay? How do you know it's working? When the radio is on and I push my button to talk, that little light goes red. I'm currently communicating with Flight Director Faree. You will notice that her button is green, which means I am the one that does the talking. You have got to keep this button suppressed as long as you are talking. Do not play it. This is not PlayStation, okay? Keep the button pressed. Flight Director Faree, do you copy me? Over. Director Watson, I copy you. Over. And the minute she communicates with me, my button has to be green. Ladies and gents, that is it. Get it right, or you will not have a successful mission. Thank you, Flight Director. Thank you, Flight Director Space Cadets. We need your attention, please. We are not done. I'm about to read you mission critical instructions. Please, will you turn your two-way radios off with immediate effect? We will give you the instruction when you may turn them on. Right, I'm reading this because it is policy. You may not veer away from the event card numbers and sequence. You may not run ahead. You will compromise this mission if you do not follow mission protocol at all times. You all have a personal logbook to capture your feelings and insights as this mission unfolds. This is key to this immersive experience and the quality of the debrief. Ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that you have this logbook with you and a pen at all times. Wherever you are, your logbook and your pen must accompany you. Right, engineers, we believe there's some inclement weather coming in. We've received notification from the space station. Engineers, would you please help me form a tunnel of honor so that we can escort our astronauts out? Astronauts, please line up behind me. Engineers, can we move it a little quicker, please? The whole thing.
Flight direction. That's affirmative. All astronauts are settled in their in the capsules and ready for takeoff. Over. Thank you. Over not. Astronauts, please, can you keep quiet and await takeoff? Director Watson, we confirm all capsules have safely lifted off. Over and out. Thank you, Flight Director Fury. We appreciate the announcement and we are about to kick off in mission control. Please check that all the astronauts are in communication via the two-way radio system. Over. Thank you. Over. Astronauts, please make contact with your mission controls. Thank you, I've heard just one last time. Is it 72 degrees Fahrenheit? Over. Sending our astronaut outside the capsule immediately. We'll await further instructions. Over. It's one and still falling. There's lots of debris floating out here. Over. Um, just a moment, maybe that's okay. Confirming one astronaut. Over. My astronaut. <laughs> We will take you through the instructions, over. Okay, perfect. Okay. 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 Our time now is around 6 minutes 38 seconds remaining. Take the time and push it through the hole in the, uh, on, uh, through the left, uh, through the left hand hole. Can you hear me? Instruction be placed where the board fabric folds up over one end of the thinner plastic piping and insert it into the larger pipe. Director Watson, very sad news indeed. Please prepare. We are on our way out. Our remains. Over not.
going to use what we call the popcorn approach, which means when you're ready to pop, you pop, you know, pop the bag in the microphone. And really, it's just to highlight and share with us anything from an insight perspective. If you look at the questions, you will see a lot of them ask you to do a little bit of a deep dive. How did you respond? But what you are going to do now is debrief as an original team. Your debrief pages are pages 20 to 23. All right, so you're back with your original team. You can work through those questions sequentially or not, whatever catches your attention. But this is the time for you to reflect on your performance as a team. All right, so thank you for your attention. Over to you. And please make sure you hear all voices on your team. This is a <laughs> Thank you.